in the whole Cologne. Well, that's higher land, high land. Let's go stop a bit because the car has to pass me and I have to go to the left. And I promised you that I would take a bridge. people swimming in the dumpster deep at least they were trying to get in two girlies in a bathing suit and a boy or man in his bathing trousers Well, the same area I drove when I got to Grappingedam, but only reverse. Japoto.nl Jap and auto is car, and Holland auto is car, and you spell that as A U T O Alpha Uniform Tango Oscar. And Yap is from Japan. And the writing of auto is not A U T O but Oscar Tango Oscar or Yap Auto. Yap Auto. Lovely driver of a bike dealer. How to repair a bike with paint. Part one. Now that's since my early movie. Have a look in it. Well, going this way. Kano Centrum Dirdemer Klap. Klap is a brug, by the way. So it goes folding up in the air. I've not seen this in a while in this uh, way, well, on the other other way, but not driven in this direction. Also nice to see this here. Well, some party area. Pony, not my little pony. I don't own a pony, so somebody else pony, little pony. Well, I can feel the wind now. Also, maybe audible in the camera. Now back to what I was telling, I, Saturday we, with the whole family, we went to Warfentu Museum, Hogeland Openlucht Museum, with a museum impression of how life went on before the 1920s, which is quite nice, were old buildings, 
There was a big school building that was originally there and some other buildings but a lot of buildings were coming from different locations they were torn down brick by brick and rebuilt brick by brick on that area probably the former schoolyard well they were decorated with people living there butcher painter fisherman and little school little house of the, the school janitor but well I'm telling you all this but I did make a video of it which will be published in future no, that has been published before this one. You already have seen it, probably. Or maybe I will switch them around. Well, we have to see when there is a video called Open Lucht Museum Warfum. And you have seen it. And if I publish it before this one, there will be a link in the description box to that video. It will be a video, by the way, with sound, but not speech. We'll try to get some text in. And we'll have to see about that. But there was a lot of noise, people talking, to I myself talking, but you hear people talk Dutch, Gronings, local language. Me talking English and Dutch. Well, that's not very handy, so I will try to fix that and see about that. And a little effort not to get any people on there, because you're not waiting to see visitors in the, in the viewfinder or people who have nothing to do with that area. But that's probably something you already saw or we'll see after this one. That's a nice area, an open air museum. Weather was not fantastic, it was windy, we had some rain. But overall, quite okay. Well, after a few hours in the museum we had a high tea. There was a restaurant slash cafe. So we drank tea, ate some scones and other lovely sweets and nice things. Some pastry, sweet pastry, bonbons and of course a lot of tea, sandwiches. Really nice. And we were all quite happy and full and everybody liked it. I do like to see how things were done in the past. And some recent past you actually, well, do not know very much about, but it's the past and not that my parents lived like that, but maybe my grandparents or their grandparents, my great-grandparents. But we do have a lot of luxury today, a lot more luxury today than they had then. But mind you, they didn't know any better and they had a state-of-the-art things. Like a kitchen sink with a pump on it, hand crank pump to pump up water. Well, a toilet inside the home. Not a flush toilet, but a wooden box with a lid on it. All very nice and nicely decorated. Quite a few homes or houses, little houses, not the biggest houses. A 
actually bump my head a few times. That's how low the door frames were, the top of them, and then 185. So quite low. My mother is a lot shorter, and she has to bend over or duck. She's 165 or so. A lot less than I am. A lot shorter than I am. But like I said, you probably will have seen the video or will soon see the video. Something different. Not bike blogging, not biking, not walking, just a vlog of the area and well not even a vlog but a video. What am I doing? Oh I have to go here. <laughs> like to have an option for going somewhere else but that's not going to happen <laughs> no no oh no 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 oh no 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 end of road so I had to go here <laughs> just talking not really paying attention something you actually should not do People out and about with the beautiful weather on the terrace and the sitting outside, drinking something, traveling. Maybe because it's a Sunday holiday for people. Tomorrow, by the way, is also a holiday, but more people out and about due to the fact that they are free from work, but also because it's nicer weather. Last time I got here, it was not so busy. Well, when we already passed Winnewear, Winnewear. By the way, this morning at 7 o'clock we had a little earthquake, magnitude of 2.4 at Garolsweer, near Loppersum. We are in an earthquake area because we are, years ago we started pumping out natural gas out of the the soil out of the ground and now of course there are big cavities empty cavities the pressure is gone and now earth is setting which causes earthquakes with damage to houses and we are not great trouble is Dutch government is quite lacky or lacking to reinforce the houses and to reimburse people for the damage not only the damage in their house but also your well effectively you cannot sell your house anymore at least not for the money you would get without a earthquake troubles Dutch government is making shit of it. Also quite unreal is that my parents do live in a brick home with a wooden construction on top or a roof. 100 meters further on there was also houses, also brick construction, also parts of a concrete construction with a loose facade on there that whole part of the city of Vier de Twee is going to be torn down to the last brick and rebuilt and like I said when I'm 100 meters away I'm getting out of my father's homes home nothing like that they're looking into it got a damage report and takes ages by the way
get a damage report in and then have to reinforce the homes or not. It depends on what the level of danger will be. Level of danger is after an earthquake of X amount will your house be flat as a pancake and you crushing you or will your house stay upright. And these are by the way the houses to my right are new houses but they are called Wisselwoningen. What's that that mean? Well, I'm out and about on Tambour somewhere and in Tambour there's also earthquake damage. They have to rebuild or reinforce houses. Well, during that time where do you have to live? You're not going to live in a camper or a caravan or a tent in front of your own home. So people will be housed temporarily in these Wisselwoningen switch houses or something. So you live here, you take all your stuff with you, you're gonna live here for a while, they're gonna reinforce your home, you're gonna pack your stuff and go back. Unfortunately sometimes that takes up to a year so you have to be prepared and willing to live for a year in a different house and pack all your things and stuff would be quite annoying actually and there actually are a lot of people who are never going to be returning to their homes because it's been torn down built different home on there and never ever gonna live there anymore By the way, that brings with people a lot of stress, physical stress with it, living in an earthquake area, not knowing when, where, what. Let me have to, let me see where I would have to go. Probably straight on. Yes, I have to. Otherwise, I will never end up where I have to go. When I go to the left on that earlier crossing, I would have ended up in Wolpersum, that's near the Ames Canal. It's a route I already took. Which is, the video is called, now let's now look at the description box. There's a playlist with um, countryside cycling. I drove from Groningen to Appingedam with a bike next to the Ames Canal. Well, local road with a orange-red bike lane next to it. <laughs> 